All right. First and foremost, we move all praise and our glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kapodash. The blindness to the elders and the apostles of great millstone who rule well and who's worthy to be counted for double honors. And peace is our taste, you brothers out there pushing to truth wholeheartedly and sincerely and for love of the gospel. All right, it's the brothers from Indianapolis camp. Come back again with another sit down. Mm-hmm. To basically talk about, uh, uh, you know, uh, standing for the Lord against the world. All right, so without further ado, we're just going to hop in straight to it. Um, this is Psalm chapter 94 and verse 16. It says, um, who will rise up for me against the evildoers? <coughs> so like it. it says, who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? All right, so this is the Lord. You know, speaking through King David, you know, because we know King David is, is the one who wrote King uh, Psalms. But, you know, this is the Lord basically saying who shall stand, you know, for him. Who who's going to who's going to declare the Lord's uh, 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 statute, laws and commandments while evil and wickedness is being pushed on the planet Earth right now? You know, and under the rules of Esau, you know, so-called white man, you know, where he's pushing homosexuality, uh, adultery. Uh, abortions, all this, all this evil, wicked, you know, uh, 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 deeds that's being put on. But who's gonna stand against? The, who's gonna stand against him and saying, "No, that's not what's right." The Lord said this. The Lord said that. The Lord already gave us statutes, laws, and commandments that we shall follow. That's gonna be a uh, 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 that's gonna be a uh, push on the planet of Earth, and that's what we shall uh, abide by. You know, even though the world is gonna come against you, you know, and the, and the answer to that is the elect, man. All right, the elect is not gonna care what the world thinks about them, whether we uh, uh, uh whether we looked at as weirdos or 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 the less the, the 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 poor, the raggedy, this and that. You know, we're not we, we don't care what, what the what the what the world looks at us like. You know, as long as the world as long as, long as the word the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahshua is being pushed, hey, that's what matters, man. All right. So that's that you know that's the answer to who's gonna stand for for uh, who's gonna stand against the evildoers, man? Because that's what we're doing, man. When we go on the highways and byways, when we make these sit downs, when we go on the live streams, that's what we're doing. We're standing against the evildoer, man. Mm-hmm. You know, when the Esau says, "Hey, you know, I'll, I'll allow transgenders to do this. I allow transgenders to do that." Because Joe Biden, he's a transgender supporter. You know, yeah. and guess what, man? You have the elect uh, of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah coming against him and be like, "Hey, no, trans- transgenders are uh, are meant to be put to death, man. Homosexuality is meant to be put to death. Abortion is meant to be put to death, man. All right, mm-hmm. if you support those things, okay, no matter how, no, no, no matter no if ands or buts about it, man. All right, no, no, yeah, yeah, I get, and and yeah, because because basically evil is just going to increase, and, mm-hmm. and that's basically what we. We kind of what we uh, uh, we we right now because just like in Sodom and Gomorrah, the Lord dis- destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah actually for an example. Okay, so America has been that example has been set. So now when you when you uh, exceed evils more than than uh, than what Sodom and Gomorrah did, you know what the Lord is on his way back, man. So we know his return is is, is imminent. Yeah, and we have seen what the Lord did at Sodom and Gomorrah, man. So mm-hmm. you know, so how much more this place? Yeah, I'm gonna actually get that. You know? mm-hmm. What, you got something? I got something, but you, you can go okay, ahead. Okay, this is uh, second Ephesus 14, because you were talking about this is where we, that's why we uh, go out and speak on the highways and byways mm-hmm. and do the videos. This is second Ephesus 14 and 13. He said, now, therefore, set that house in order and reprove, reprove thy people. Mm-hmm. Comfort suffering. And, and that's exactly what we're doing. We're, 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 we're reproving our people, man, because what? Our people, two thirds of our people is going to, you know, get destroyed. But for, first they have to be warned, man. All right, then that's the reprover, man. Because two thirds of Israel is gonna want that wickedness. It's gonna, it's gonna feel comfortable in that wickedness. But we have to at least tell them, mm-hmm. you know, for the Lord to come back and and judge them. Yeah. You know. Okay. So uh, yeah, and that's what his next part is talking about. He says, it's, so it says, uh, reprove thy people. He said, comfort such of them that be in in trouble, mm-hmm. and now renounce corruption. Yep. Right, because this place is. Definitely corrupt, man. Absolutely. I, I, uh, I, I was talking to one of the brothers the other day, and um, uh, I, I'm, I'm a part of this uh, uh, um, Cologne club or whatever. They sent me uh, uh, one month supply of samples of a uh, really expensive Cologne. I can't afford the a Cologne, but they sent me these samples. So just all of a sudden, I didn't pick no fragrance to, uh, for, a two, for, for a month. And they just start picking my fragrances. So it came in the mail, and I let the brother smell it. I said, man, don't this smell like... He said, oh, that's that's androgynous. I was like, mm-hmm. what the fuck? And I, I didn't even ask him. I just didn't pick it, my scent. But they know I'm a man because of my name. And 
they know I'm a man, but they just start sending me fucking androgynous cologne, bro. I had right. to actually tell them, look, I'm a f- don't send me no more of this. You know, I don't want perfume. Andro- <laughs> and, and, and androgynous is basically God. unisex, fucking, unisex yeah. f- fucking fragrance, man, where, you know, a man and a woman can fucking wear it, well, you know? Yeah, and that, that spirit comes from uh, uh, the Baphomet, man. Mm-hmm. You know, when you see the Baphomet, the goat head, it actually has breasts. Mm-hmm. It's just a, it's breasts a with male, a penis. Yeah, yeah, it's a male... Uh, male, it's the transgender thing, man, yeah, which is yeah. being pushed in the earth. Yeah, man. You know, which that's completely against the scriptures, man. You know, the Lord set up a, 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 a specific uh, distinction God between a male yeah. and a female, man. Turn. You know, and you know, here, here you go, got Esau coming trying to basically saying, oh, they're one and the same. You can be, you, you know, you can be both or, or something. You're trying to be that, that neutral shit, you know, when the Lord's completely, completely against neutral. Neutrality, mm-hmm. you know, right. it's either yeah. this or that. The scripture says either let your yay be, let your yay be yay, be, or your nay be nay, man. Mm-hmm. Which means either yes or no, man. There's no neutral. There's no maybe or sometimes or or I feel both or you know. There's none of that, man. Mm-hmm. According mm-hmm. to the scriptures, man. Yeah, because you know? if you if you got a feeling like that, man, you, you, you first of all. The scriptures is not based off your feelings, man. Yeah, absolutely. Feel, your feelings and your emotions, man, could, 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 could be demonic. Yeah, you yeah. Know? That's why we go off of it, truly off of what the spirit is, man. Exactly. And the spirit bears witness with the scriptures, man. And, and, and one thing about the spirit is the spirit is always logical, man. It's all Every, logical. Right? Everything you think about when the spirit is always a reason for it. It's always, mm-hmm. and that's one that sometimes I be having a, a debates with my woman because she be she be trying to do things. That's emotional. All I want to do is because everybody's feeling in the spirit. And I'm like, well, well, that's not logical. You know, yeah. that's completely not logical. You know, if I don't have the money, you want me to go out here and, and magically create money so I can just, you know, that, that, that that's completely, un- it, that's complete. Like, uh, what do we say off of Star Trek? That, that that's illogical. You know, like yeah. he was yeah. always talking spot, to the, uh, yeah, spot. Spot. Yeah, spot. He was always, yeah, that's, that's, that's illogical. Man. You know, he, you know, he was always saying like, that's illogical, you yeah. know? Like be Just, logical with it, you know. You're supposed to do things, and that's that's what you're supposed to deal with logic when mm-hmm. you do things. Yeah. Uh, okay. What's more feasible? Should I go out and, and go out to the bar? Right. And spend my last thirty dollars, mm-hmm. and then I got to go to work for the rest of the week. Exactly. So what would exactly. you do? Go 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 have fun. You know that's why that's why going out to eat is is so detrimental. You'll mm-hmm. go buy you go buy something to eat right then and there. It's gonna fill you up right. A fifty dollar steak. You know, yeah. fifty dollar steak is gonna fill you up right then and there. But then that fifty dollars go get some groceries gonna right. feed you for a week. For a week, yeah. You know exactly. <laughs> that which one? Which one is more logical? Which really? Know? Which really? It'll feed you more because if you go home and that fifty dollars, you're gonna buy at least maybe two, two maybe. You know, if you can, it depends on what the person who it is. You can buy like two or three home prepared meals. And then mm-hmm. when you prepare those meals, you're gonna eat that day. You're gonna have leftovers to take yep. to work for lunch, exactly. so it's gonna actually save you in the long run. Yeah, absolutely. That, that's what would, would, would be logical. That's absolutely. why America is pushing this meal prep thing now. Yeah, you know, hey, just go to the grocery store and buy this, man. Go home and cook, and then prep your meals, and then mm-hmm. freeze them. Because what? Because it's logical. Yeah. You only well, you want to think out the best situation for situation. But people, the, the, the earth is not. Uh, thrived on that. The right. Earth is uh, thrived on Emotions. do with thy will. Yeah, you know that that evil ass uh, uh, Alistair Crawley spirit. Absolutely. Okay, I'm gonna finish this, and you can go get yours. Mm-hmm. All right. So it said. Um, he said. Uh, so he said now renounce corruption. He said let go from the mortal thoughts. Mm-hmm. Right, because the, the ways of, of, of America, of Babylon, cast away the burdens of man. Of man, right? Because he was saying he was getting into it with his woman. Because most of these these uh, holidays and, and the shit that people celebrate is all man-made days. Absolutely. That's why we need to go back to the Statue of Laws and Commandments and yeah. our feast days in the scripture. And then when you, and then the, the thing about it is once you actually really understand the, the, the holidays of this world... And you just basically and you just basically cut it with basic logic. Yeah. It doesn't really make sense. It makes sense, right? You know, because I was telling my woman about um a uh, Valentine's Day. I was like, oh, so you want me to only love you one day out of the whole entire year? Well, no, it's just it, 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 you're supposed to love me every single day after. So, so what the fuck makes Valentine's Day so special? You know, if it, if I'm supposed to love you specifically, I'm supposed to love you every single day out of a whole entire year. What makes Valentine's Day so fucking special? It it's just about it's but it's, about, it's a custom of men. Well, yeah, it's, you know, it's, and 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 that's another video. We probably go into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm I'm just basically yeah. just cutting the the yeah. holiday because because these all holidays never make sense. You know yeah. who who wants to receive everything everything they ever wanted on one fucking day what? on the last on a couple last days of the year? Like yeah. no, I want it if I want to if I want you know. 
gifts and everything. I want that, you know, throughout the whole. Which I think uh, in the um in the uh the high holy days, it's actually one uh hot holy days where you supposed to give For gift. Real. Yeah, prim. You supposed real. to give gift uh, uh seven days. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. so you know that that's that trumps. That Trump's Christmas, you know. Well, see, yeah, and people and our people don't have it. It's like I didn't mean to cut you. No, 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 you got it. But I didn't. Uh, um, uh, our people don't know their heritage or their mm-hmm. high holy days. All right. Because yeah, we actually said uh, uh, you can't beat your house shy and nothing, man. Not even we got a, a feast day that you party for seven days straight. Man, dog. Uh, <laughs> could you imagine? You, you right. Niggas go party one day. Mm-hmm. Man, the kingdom when we had a feast of Purim, it bro, it's seven days of just. Drinking yeah. and kicking it, and yeah. bro, just doing the thing. Right. You know? What holiday can trump that? You Nothing, know? No, and no holiday. Well, you know they got they got carnival. You know that. I mean, but shit. that like that don't that only last a couple. Don't tr- it don't right. trump. Right. None of it. Jake only. I shot. mean, shit. Motherfuckers only go to for like one, one, maybe two one, days, two days. You know. Yeah. Yeah. But but um, nothing nothing can beat um, whatever your house shot puts forth, man. Right. So um. You said leg and then on top of that, you got the uh, the Sabbath, which is every other week. Mm-hmm. You know, which that that yeah. counts as a high holy day. Yeah, high holy you know? day. Yep, yep. And uh, also, yeah, yeah, because that that day he was, he was saying what's so uh, special about that one specific day is because it's 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 um uh, it's a uh, it's, it's a spirit behind it. You know, mm-hmm. Saint Valentine's. You know, well we we're going to it. Later. Yeah. But um, he said so. Let go of those mortal thoughts. He said, cast away the burden of man. Put off now. The weak nature, right? The Lord mm-hmm. said that's a weak nature, man. The, yeah. the ways of man is 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 weak. Is 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 uh, is vain. Yeah. It's empty. It's, it's it's nothing. It comes to naught. You know. Yeah. He said so. Which uh, he saw even himself said the wisdom of the Bible is the highest wisdom of mm-hmm. of, the, of of the earth. You know, right. I forgot what a president said that, but uh, you know, I think Theodore Roosevelt. I yeah, think yeah, he's yeah, the one yeah, said yeah. that. You know, but he said the, the the wisdom of the Bible is the highest wisdom of of every of anything. Yeah, you know. And then, well, and then another president, Ronald Reagan, uh, 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 came back and reiterated that the Bible was the, supposed to be the, the, the law book of the land. Of the land man. Yeah, you know, you know. So, so, so here's uh, two Edomite presidents. You know, actually referenced the, the scriptures as being. Uh, 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 they they can't validate it, but they're saying that that, that in know, high regards, that, in high regards, man. You know, so you know, so this is this this is it. All right, he said, um, verse fifteen. He said, and let and set aside the 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 thoughts that are uh that are most heavy unto thee. He said, and hasten thee to flee from these times. He said, for yet for yet greater evils than than those. Which thou has seen happen shall be done hereafter. Right. So we're gonna we ex, us, us as being a man of the Lord, we're expecting shit to be uh, get more wicked. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So this is why we're actually telling people like, hey, look, look, man. You know, you up a regarding Valentine's Day and and all this other bullshit where it's it's other times. You need to be uh, uh, developing some type of skill on 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 on, on conditioning your body. All type of shit because guess what? Famine is one of those uh, uh, wicked times that's coming. All yeah. right, and then you're gonna think back. You're gonna think back how and that's that's really why the uh, people the, the two thirds are gonna have contempt and shame in the kingdom. Yeah, because they're gonna realize how fucking frivolous they were living yeah. in this wicked ass kingdom and how how much they didn't regard the Most High. Right. You know. And that's and that's and that's the key point about this lesson because how much Jake just just put off the, the Most High like. His words and his yeah. statutes, laws, and commandments it wasn't really nothing, you know. Yeah. When you know everybody in the world knows about what the Bible says about homosexuality, but people are just like, oh, you know, the Bible this and the Bible that, you know, it, it doesn't validate this and the validate, you know, which, you know, they're basically putting it off, man, you know. Right. Which every and, and, and you can't tell me that. Oh well. Because when you think about homosexuality, when Christians think about homosexuality, the first thing they think about is Leviticus, man. Mm-hmm. All right, you can't tell yes. me that you can't tell me when a Christian thinks about homosexuality, he just thinks about, oh well, you know, God accepts everybody. No, he knows where it is in Leviticus where it says, if a man lie with man, uh, mankind is an abomination; they should be put to death. All right, yeah. you can't tell me that, man. Yeah, all right, yes, he knows. <laughs> you know, so it's just basically it's either and and it comes down to it either is is it what the Lord says right or you're gonna accept it with the world, man? Is right. you gonna accept what the world uh, pushes, man? All right? right, it's it's not no in between. It's not no gray area in that, man. Right. It's either this or that or this or this. You know, 
You know, and, and you have to pick which side, man. All right, and the elect is gonna pick what the what the, what the word of Yahweh Hashem Yashai says, man. All right, homosexual homosexuals is meant to be put to death. All right, no if and or buts about it, man. Right. All right, you know we, we might go around society, you know, acting like we cool with them. You know, we might, you know, we might even be, you know, jokative in it, but that's that's a facade. All right, yeah. that's a whole gimmick. You know, because where it says be in the world, but not of the world. You know, we're we're trying to be in the matrix. All right, you know, yeah. we're not trying to. You know, it says what? Uh, never reveal what that uh, left hand, what the right hand do with. You know, yeah. so we're basically just in. You know, incognito. You know, so to speak. You know, yeah. but without further ado, I'm gonna I'm I'm hop into the scripture. I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna kind of go ahead. This one more two. I have to agree with it. Okay, verse seventeen. He said, "For look how much the world." Shall be be weaker through age. Mm -hmm. So much more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. So uh. long as we hear these wicked, this this shit is gonna continue to get worse. We're uh. we're not looking for a remedy on, yeah. on, on, on saving America, man, or Absolutely. saving this place, or or bringing more more uh, mortality back here. It, it's it's over with, man. Yeah, what they say the uh, you know? the, the, the 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 global warming is is at all time high. Mm -hmm. Earthquake is on all time high. Right. All right. the these disasters and because the earth the the world is ultimately crying out for salvation. You know that's why it's 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 so in turmoil right now. Where, where earthquakes and volcanoes and just stuff is just not going the way you know Esau intended to be. Uh, fucking weather is just just just. Everywhere, man. We're in February, and, and we just got a, a, a the worst type of snowstorm we ever got through all entire winter. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's just because why wow, the, the Earth is getting weaker through age. Yeah, yeah. You know? and, then, like, and him controlling it, and, and like I said, and that's the ultimate reason because this dude, this dude's prop, the prophecy of Esau is is coming to pass. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's coming to to the point now where. Uh, uh, his reign is over with, man. Absolutely. So we see these times. So that's where, where um, um, that's that's where we want to be at. You know, we we know the evils and crazy. It's like like a, we really it's it's kind of crazy because we actually actually welcome it. Yeah. <laughs> With the wicked, we be like, man, oh, fuck, they know he just passed his law, but it's actually it's uh it's uh because because we let me read this last one because mm -hmm. it's basically uh, Elder Apostle Tahar deemed this uh uh this uh. Year uh, hasten in the day, uh -huh. he said. So, so he said. It's verse eighteen. He said, "For the time is fled far away, that leasing is hard at hand. For now hastening the vision to come, which thou hast seen." Right. So, so the vision that we've seen, man, is this destruction is for the hit here, man. It's coming fast, man. You know, but it's like at the day, what did he tell Esau, man, when Esau uh, brought his sacrifice? Not Esau, Cain. Cain, yeah. He said, what, man? Well, sin yeah, Esau, you know, yeah, he's the same said, person. Yeah, yeah, same person. He said, uh, sin lieth at the door. Right, man. Hey, guess what? Destruction lieth at the door. This place is done for, man. We just, like I said, spiritually it's done for. So, like I said, it's about to happen. It's about to manifest physically. Yeah, what well, the scripture says, you know, he... You know, he has the Lord has set bounds that he cannot pass. You know, so mm -hmm. it's it's it. Lord, you know, Esau actually has a clock counting down to his destruction. You know, mm -hmm. where as soon as that clock hits zero, his reign is over. You know, it's no second over. It, it's no two seconds. Esau is gonna rule. It. No, it's 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 it's, it's completely eradicated. You know, it's, it's gonna be done after that. You know. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is uh, Isaiah chapter five and verse ten. Sorry, verse tw uh, twenty. It says, uh, uh, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil that pursuit like him, that put darkness for light and light for darkness. It says, it says that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. And that's exactly what you, uh, uh, two thirds Israel do, man. You know, you said, oh, well, the, the, the true transgenders, they deserve rights and they deserve this and they deserve that. The Lord loves them. The Lord loves all his his kiss creation and, and this and that. Or talking about Esau can make it. And, hey, that's that's putting light. That's putting darkness for, for, for light and light for darkness, man. All right. Because the Lord said what he said, man. He said, what a homosexuality. Uh, homosexuality should be put to death. All right. If a man like with mankind, he should be put to death. If a, if a, um. Uh, Edomite is not gonna make it into the kingdom of heaven uh, 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 through salvation. All right, the only way an Edomite is gonna make it is through slavery. All right, so any any all these things that that, that Jake says contrary contrary against the scripture is gonna be put in in, in the ground, man. All right, mm -hmm. because that that's not gonna that's not gonna st you're not standing for the Lord, man. All right, when you read these scriptures, the scripture says what it says, man. All right, there's no. 
socket. There's no uh, uh, um, if ands, or buts about it. There's no gray area. There's no, oh, well, the Lord actually meant this. No, the Lord meant what he said, man. Scripture says what? The scripture has been uh, refined uh, 70 times 70. So guess what? This word has been perfect. All right. Mm -hmm. The word has been perfect. So that means the things that we're preaching is perfect. All right. The scripture says uh, there's trying to be a lying tongue found in their mouth. And so there's there's men all upon this planet Earth that's preaching 100 percent truth, 100 percent doctrine, which means everything they teach, everything they push is going to be 100 percent. Huh? Yeah. All right. And that's backed by the scriptures. All okay. right. I got an emergency. Mm -hmm. This is a Sirach 2 and 11. He said, for the Lord, for the Lord is for the Lord is um, full of co compassion mm -hmm. and mercy, yep. long suffering, and very pitiful and forgiving and, and forgiving sin. Yeah, and that's why the scripture says every every mm -hmm. every uh, uh, sin can be forgiven can except be forgiven. for the uh, uh, for the law uh, uh, for for trans. Uh, 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 blasphemy. Yeah, for blasphemy, man. Mm -hmm. For you know, blasphemy against the Holy Ghost, man. Mm -hmm. Every single law. You know, you have a law, you have a law that can put you to death. And the Lord said he still will forgive you for that. Yeah. Except for the law of blasphemy, man. Yeah, well, uh, uh, homosexuality is, is a sin unto death. Yes, homosexuality. <laughs> not keeping the Sabbath is a sin unto yeah, death, man. A commit yeah. adultery is a sin unto death, man. You got all these laws as a sin unto death. But the Lord said, guess what? I will forgive every single one yeah. except for the law of blasphemy. You know, if you just turn back unto him, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's... That, I, that, that, I, I can't even. Can't I can't even fucking. I can't even c comprehend the type of mercy that he is, man. Yeah, 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 you know, so, yeah. here he is. He set a law. He said all. He said what sixteen six hundred thirteen laws. Mm -hmm. You know, and he will forgive every single one except for the 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 um, the, 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 the sin of a blasphemy that blaspheme against the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. He will he will forgive every single one of those. You know, just for you to turn back. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so you say yeah, man. So it's to forgive sins and save it in that time of affliction. Yeah, said, absolutely, woe, man. Woe be to the fearful hand, hearts, and faint hands, and the sinner that go two ways. Man, bro, that, that's a lot of mercy, bro. Man, I and, and you know what? I speak as a man when I say this, but that's the reason why I think the Lord has is, is been prolonging. So you know, because yeah. you got what uh, other parts of the heart for almost thirty. Close to almost 40 years plus, yeah, yeah. you know, then you got other other brothers uh, trickling down to 20 to 25 to 15 mm -hmm. to 20 to 10 years, you know, for so long, you know, so the Lord can say, listen, they almost been pushing then almost a half, a half. What's a what's 100 years? A century? Yeah, yeah half. A, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, a, dec a decade is 10 years. Uh, decades is 10 years. Centuries is 100 years, right? I think so. I think yeah. So. So, they, so you got men that's actually been pushing this for almost half a century. You know, yeah. so that's that, that yeah. that's 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 um, that's almost uncompassionate love. The Lord says, like, "Listen, man, I've been I have men that's been pushing this almost for half a century." You know, yeah, uh, you uh, know, I so much. Uh, and then you got you got you got to look at the elders, the apostles, the, 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 the before the apostles, apostles hard, yeah, yeah. exactly. They were out pushing exactly, for years exactly, before, exactly, you know? man. So, you know, so that's that's that, that that's that's a good fifty years solid plus. You know. A good fifty years solid, all right. You know, so 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 just everything, every, everything. Um, how can I say? Uh, everything added on to this is just basically Lord showing His wow. real compassion. Hell. You know about this man. You know. You got that? Uh, I don't know. That's that. Um, I have seven hundred men that haven't borrowed. How about I don't know, I think it's Romans? Oh, go ahead. Go finish that. Uh, I, that was it to that. Uh, okay. it's as well to them that are wise in their own eyes mm -hmm. and prudent in their own sight. It's as well to them that are mighty to drink wine, yep. and men that are strength to 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 mingle strong drink. You know, right. so and that's the philosophies that that America, again, like I said, this, 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 the, the fucking androgynous days mm -hmm. and all these, you know, this wickedness that's increasing in the earth, man. Yeah, you and know, and and, and and matter of fact, it's so increased. That Jake is actually trying to go back because because I've been noticing that noticing that the, the the style of dress, uh, men dressing uh, like men is 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 back in high fashion now. You know, men wearing the hats, you know, and 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 wearing um, um, clothes that look like men clothes, you know, suits and stuff like that. It's yeah. like it's coming back in fashion now because they're what they're trying to uh, bring back that 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 uh, that male vibe, man. Because that was gone from the earth, man. You, like I said, you let this devil keep ruling, bro. 
hey, you see what Kanye West, what kind of style he was trying to put it, bro, that, that, that shit looked like uh, Doom, the, what you call that, um, what's that movie, fuck, Rogue, Rogue Spirit, you know, because <laughs> that's how his clothes look, man. You had two thirds, Jay making fun of the shit. Yeah, you know? <laughs> man, but, but basically it was actually spiritual because actually that's what's going to go back to, man, motherfuckers just wearing wearing a whole fucking, you know, you, you, you see uh, homeless people down the street, they don't care about no clothes, they just have four or five blankets wrapped around them. Yeah, you know, because you're gonna be worried about warmth in that it's, day. It's crazy because I seen a homeless man wearing J's, and I like that's exactly how you know the, the like the shoes in Jordan is supposed to be the the most highest commodity. Mm-hmm. I used to work for uh, Amazon, and, yeah. and they had, they had a whole row for very very expensive shoes, and, and yeah. Jordans was like basically in that majority in that row, mm-hmm. and that's exactly how a pair of Jordans is gonna look be looked at. In that, in that, in, uh, in Jacob's trouble, man. Mm-hmm. It's just a fucking pair of shoes, man. Just a pair of shoes. You know, you keep your feet off the ground. Just keep your feet off the ground. Not no two, three hundred, four hundred dollar pair of shoes. And oh, these Jordans, I gotta keep these in the box. No, they're yeah. just gonna be fucking a pair of shoes that keep your feet off the ground, man. Yeah. All right. And I always thought that was fucking crazy. Like, damn, fucking four hundred dollars for a pair of shoes. Yeah. Like, are you are you serious? Like, no, nah, man. I'm, I'm I ain't no way hell I'm paying for that much for for a pair of shoes, man. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Like. Man, that's just, that's just shit crazy. Um, you said uh, uh what was that when you seven hundred that haven't bowed it down to the uh image of Baal. Yeah, kind. And I got uh I got some real quick. Um this is uh, Romans, I got it. Okay. Go ahead and read that. Con this is uh Romans chapter eleven verse uh, four. It says, But uh but say if the but suck it. It says, But what answer if the suck it? But what saith the answer of Yahweh? It says unto him, it says, I, re- I, re- I reserve to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Mm-hmm. It says, even so, that at the present time also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. You know, so the Lord has men that's, guess what? That's not going to take that RFID microchip, man. Mm-hmm. That's not going to basically listen what Esau says. That's going to basically come against the world. When the world says, "Oh, this is this is this is what's right. This is what's right," they're gonna say, "No, this is not what's right." What Yahweh Bashim Yashay, what Yahweh Bashim Yashay said, that's what's right. All right, you the Lord has men that's gonna be one hundred percent true and faithful unto Him, man. I always references, and I'm always gonna keep references until the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yashay come back. But just like it says in the, uh, 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 in Hancock, man. Hancock said, uh, Hancock's wife, the, 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 the Edomite says what? He said, we were built in pairs, all right? We were meant to, we were, we were drawn to each other. No matter how far I, I, I flee, no matter what galaxy I go to, he's always going to follow me, man. That's the Lord, and that's the, that's the spirit of the Lord and the elect, man. All right, no matter where they go, no matter where they go into the, the truth. I don't know if, you're, if you have a, 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 a part of the elect stranded on a desert island. The Lord can just snap his mind into uh, 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 awakeness, man. Mm-hmm. You know, and give him a way off that. And, and give him a way off that island, man. Yeah. You know, it's just it, it, it's it's something with the with the, the with the chosen elect and and the Lord is just gonna continue staying draw with him, man. You know, mm-hmm. it's not it's not by happen chance that you just came into this truth and came into this knowledge, man. All right, that's not by happen chance. All right, it's not just by some miracle from 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 a. Uh, 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 from a coincidence, all right? Yeah. No, it's because what you were chosen by the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yasha, to either like Elder Uriah says from Chicago, he says either what to either be sal- uh, to be either, to either, to either be saved for salvation or to be uh, uh to, or or to be destroyed. Mm-hmm. All right, either one or the other. Do we know which one? No, we don't. You know, because we we're not promised a chariot. We're not promised a, a chariot ride, man. Yeah. You know, but until then. You know, we're going to continue fast until what we've been learned, you know? Right, that, All right. Yeah. That, that endurance. To quote you, to quote you on that, uh, it's like that, that song, uh, uh, what's the name put out, man? It's in your, it's in your DNA. <laughs> yeah. Well, what's that? What's that church song? You can't be, you can't, you can't be, you can't, you can't learn. Something you can't learn, you got to be born in it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, can't join in it. Yeah, you can't gotta join in it. You got to be born in it. Yeah, yeah. you know, you got to be born in it. That's even yeah. with the Israel, man. You got to be born into the election. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You know the you Lord. that born to be an Israelite. Then also you got to be born to be uh, and a, a, part a of the elect. elect. You know, yeah. you know, with even with even even Israel, you know, you know, you got to be it's part of the, amongst You got to be chosen. Yeah, chosen amongst chosen. <laughs> you know? And that's the elect. That's it on that. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's this is, pretty uh, much this is uh, Jude 1 and 7. He said, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to for fornication and going after strange flesh, mm -hmm. are set forth for an example. Yeah, and for, that's, for that, that's for example. So basically, you know, this is the way, you know, not to act, you know, in, in, in America... You know, aka Esau's kingdom is is basically going exactly that that same route. You yeah. know, they're going down that same yellow big road. You know, yeah. Yeah. so we already know the, in, the 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 income the income of that man. Just just by reading basic scriptures, we already know the income, man. You know, oh Esau's you know allowing homosexuality. That's the same thing Sodom and Gomorrah did. You know, Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed for that. You know, so what's the you know you think Esau kingdom is gonna be exempt? Like you think the Lord's gonna say? And is Esau, you know, we're going we gonna to give him a pass. No, man, because the scripture says what? The Lord shall not acquit the wicked, man. Right. All right? So uh, acquit means to basically, um, uh, how can I say? Uh, 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 kind of supply or either uh, uh, build in. Look, look, look past, you know, basically give him pass. Like, yeah. you know, uh, oh, well, you know, you know, we, we're going to give him pass on that, you know. You know, acquit. Mm -hmm. You know, we because when you're acquitted oh, from oh, a crime. Okay, I, 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 I yeah, the I think it says in either either in Psalms or Proverbs. Yeah, the Lord means, says. Uh, to set, I think it's like to set free. Yeah, you know, the yeah. Lord says what the Lord shall not all acquit the wicked man. Basically, mm -hmm. you know, give them a pass, give them a, a a way out. You know, no, everything that you know, because the scripture says in uh, Jeremiah says what. Uh, his sins reached into heavens. And he's gonna have to answer for every single one of those sins, man. Uh -huh. You know, and the ultimate judgment is what. Thermonuclear missiles and destruction. Mm. All right. That's right. He said, for, he said for, uh, so set forth uh, for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Yep. Right. Yep. That's what's going to hit here, man. Exactly, man. The fire of brimstone, man. It talks about in Revelations. Mm. You got it. You know? I'm going to get that. Yeah. Uh, the lake of fire. Yeah, the lake of fire is not uh, uh, where, where, uh, where, um, it's not hell, man, as far as with that Christian doctrine. All right. You know, you go on other videos, man, with, um, uh, with videos that's broken, breaking down the, the concept of hell, man. Because it's not no place after you die that the Lord's going to put you in. We're going through hell right now. Hell is conditioned, man. I'm just looking for a, a good place to start. I'm going to start from 10. This is uh, Revelation chapter 20, verse 10. It says, Then the devil that deceived them mm -hmm. that were cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night mm -hmm. forever and ever. And I saw a great white throne of him that sat on it and whose face the earth and the heavens fled away and were found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before Yahweh, and the book were opened. It's like a, and the book were opened, and another book were opened, which it says, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of out of those things which were written in the book according to the their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and the death and hell delivered unto the death which were in them. And they judged every man according to the works, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire, and the and this and this is the and this is the second death, and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. All right, and that's what the thermonuclear missiles, man. All right, which yeah. was, which is basically what the the end of Esau's kingdom, man. Which is talks about the false prophets. What the false prophet is what the Roman Catholic Church, man. All right, because 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 Roman Catholic Church. Is the spawn of all these false doctrines, man? That you that you see before you today, man. All right, that is the that is the the, the basically the birth of all these false the, all these false doctrines that you see to, to get, man. It's all that's contrary against the scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. Christianity, you know, all of them, man. All right, mm -hmm. and that's what's gonna get. That's all is gonna be done away with in the lake of fire of the thermonuclear missiles that's gonna come upon America. Right, that's all gonna right? be the great purging, man. You yeah. Purge all the evils off the earth. Right, and that's where it talks about in the uh, the apocrypha. It says what uh uh in, in in face 
in faith it shall flourish, man. Because yeah. guess what? At, at at the very end, guess what? The words of Yahweh Bashem Yahshua, it shall stand, and none else is gonna stand beside it, man. Right. All right. right. Only the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahshua shall stand, man. Because what the men that's been pushing this word is gonna be the only the great mighty men that's gonna be upon the 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 the, the, uh, the face of the earth, man. All right. Still standing stiffly for the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahshua, man. All right. Mm -hmm. And nothing else is going to be beside it talking about, oh, well, Islam or, or Christianity or, or Muslim or, you know, all that's going to be put down into the earth, you know, that's going to be, that's going to be burning in that lake of fire. All right. No one's going to stand up and, and try to combat the word of Yahweh Shah. All right. Yep. And, uh, you got something else? I can close on that. Oh, you can close on that. All right, this is uh, First Peter, man, because like I said, Yahweh Shah was that prime example mm -hmm. for us to follow, man. So... It's no, you know, we, even the wicked know that they're wicked. You don't have to tell them that they're wicked. The, the scriptures tell us to prophesy to them, you know, to tell them they're false. But like I said, they know that they're wicked, man. You know, when you confront a nigga about some shit, the first thing he's going to do is get on the defense, man. Yeah. That's already self-proven, him proving that he's wicked, man. All right, cause and he's then he's gonna hit what? Everybody perfect. Yeah, everybody perfect. Yeah, we gotta die no, something, don't no, no, we? Then they say, then they say, well, only God, only God can judge me. Yep. You know the Tupac doctrine. All right, this is a uh, First Peter two and twenty one. He said, for even here and two, wherein ye called, because Mashiach also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. Mm -hmm. Who did no sin, neither was God found in his mouth. Yep. Right. So if you have a shot, walked on the same wicked ass you were, because like I said, the scripture says, what? Well, there's nothing new up under the sun. You had some homosexuality back then. You had murderers back then, thieves. You had the same it, thing. Even Romans is talking about mm -hmm. the men working with uh, 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 other. Taking on strange flesh. Yeah, taking on French, strange flesh. Take, taking on that, what it seemingly was. was yeah, un yeah, uncommon. Uncommon, right. right. You know, you know so, men with men, women yeah. with women, you yeah. know. Working in their own lust, you know. So, so, and I, and I said that to say because people like to always say, "Oh, that's the old testament. Well, that's the new. That's the Bible. That's old. That's back in the day." No, nigga. I just read in the apocrypha it said evils would increase. Yeah. Okay. So you got you got you got stuff that that um, you got what what is that? It's called wicked imagination. Okay, because because that's what evil is. Anything that's thinking outside of these scriptures, man, you mm -hmm. it, it becomes wickedness. You know, you think it, and then you so then you start doing it. And so as scripture says, so as a man thinking, so, so is he. he yeah. All right. So when you start thinking wickedness, that's why tell, the scriptures tell us to put off mortal thoughts, man. And that's also it talks about. Uh, that's also it talks about. Um, in wisdom of Solomon, it says yeah. wisdom shall meet him in every thought. That's man. right. Every you know, thought. so so yeah. basically, this these scriptures should be applied to your life, where yeah. everything, every yeah. decision that you make. Yeah. Wisdom and knowledge and stability shall basically meet you. Like, well, how is this affecting me in the truth? Yeah, you know? yeah. And the scripture that's that's also scripture too. Because in James it says, "What man, the Lord says, not is gonna uh, give you a way, way to out. escape." Yeah. All right, because you're gonna have to, you know, you you and, and bro, we we not exempt. I, I get wicked ass thoughts, and I'll be like, "What the fuck? Hey, what what, what a, I have to curse myself out? What yeah. the fuck you taking that for?" You know, why you look at that woman? You know, you don't know if that woman married. The fuck is you doing? Oh, shit, man. You know, sometimes you, you, because you in the flesh, man. Yeah, Your but flesh, that's putting your body yeah. in subjection. Yeah, in subjection. Putting your body in subjection. Like Paul. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, that, that was it on that. Yeah, that was it? Yeah. All right, well. Yeah. Well, well, we hope this video was edifying for you brothers out there. We uh, want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Bashem, and Kakadash. The blind to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone who are well and who is worthy to be counted for the blinders. And peace out to you brothers out there pushing this truth wholeheartedly and sincerely and for the love of the gospel. All right, with that, Shalom.